Hey everybody, how's it going? So since the mayor had talked about July 1st as an approximate reopening date for New York City, I just thought since I've decided to get some more exercise by walking home and walking to work, that on my way there I would just look over a lot of the spaces that are, quote, reopened. So this is a space I was actually looking at renting. It's right next to my current store. I was looking at this in September of 2019, and they said that it was looking to move it quickly, that if I didn't take the offer, somebody else will. This was smaller than my current store for $13,500, and this is what the inside looks like. As you can see, it is still for rent and will likely be for a very long time. All right, this one over here is right across the street from my store. It says retail space for lease. I believe that this place was somewhere in the 40s, $40,000 or so range. And this was for lease about three years ago, at the very least three years ago. And it is still vacant today, to my great surprise. Okay, we're still on my block. I haven't even gotten to the end of it yet. This was some little, I, don't know, I think it was like a coffee, uh, you know, place where you could get coffee and stuff like that. As you can see, this is completely empty and it has been for over eight months. I don't feel particularly bad about this because when COVID started and people were looking to buy masks and you couldn't get them anywhere, they were selling them for something like like five or ten bucks for, you know, five masks or something like that. They weren't the N95s, they were the generic BS. So I don't really feel bad about them being gone. Uh, this over here used to be a Pretamanger. Pretaman I used to call it Pretamanger but it's apparently pret and that's one of those places where you could spend 10 or 15 bucks on lunch and not be full. And as you can see, this is vacant, covered in random crap and graffiti. As I go down this block, let's see, you know, we'll get a nice little zoomed out picture because this phone has a, another camera. So this is the pret Right next to it, this was a deli. Actually, I kind of like that deli. They had some decent food. Next to that, there was another small store. Uh, that is also uh, gone. A face mask is necessary prior to entry to the dead, empty business. If you're going to enter the dead, empty business, you must have a face mask on. And let's see what else we find. So this is the cycle coming full circle. Typically in New York City, you have small businesses being replaced by Chase Bank, and in this case, you have Chase Bank being replaced by vacant, empty storefronts. So that is the cycle coming full circle, where the Chase Bank that replaced these small businesses that could no longer afford the rent here actually leaves, and there's not even a Chase Bank, another bank to come and take their place because they've eaten up all the other banks. So this is right around 24th Street and 7th Avenue. And right across the street over there, if we run across the street before the light changes, you'll see that we have yet another retail space for lease. This place has been vacant now for going on or at least a year. I've been riding my bike past here for a year and every time I come by this place, it is empty. Let's see if you can see inside. Looks beautiful right there. Some, that's a quality space. How much do you think that place goes for? Probably 20 or 30,000 knowing. <laughs> This city. This, so this space is totally empty. And then when you go look right across the street, you also have vacancy with these two stores over there that are completely empty. Let's see if I could take a look at that once we are able to cross the street. We'll get a look inside, see what those beautiful spaces look like, see what all these commercial businesses that are not renting them are missing out on. What do we got here? Okay, so it looks like here we have... This is smaller than the bathroom in my apartment. What do we got here? It actually reeks of piss, so somebody else shouldn't come by here. We have this, and then next to it, we have this papered over thing. Papered over places are typically what you do when you don't want the Department of Buildings to see that you're doing construction inside without a permit, that a lot of people tend to do, because getting a permit for anything in the city will cost you many, many months, and 
tens of thousands of dollars. Over there, right above the Taco Bell, you have a four lease by owner over there, so that building looks like it's empty. But it gets even... And actually, all the buildings in that area are empty, and that building over there almost looks condemned, right above the bicycle habitat. So that says for, for lease by owner. That says retail store for rent. And that one, every single window in the entire building is boarded up over there. Every one, and there's not even a for sale or for rent sign. It's just all covered. That one says retail for rent. That one says for lease by owner. So yeah, this block is pretty dead. And as usual, you have one of those fancy schmancy buildings, we have the ceiling of floor glass in your apartments, which costs you know, usually four to $6,000 a month to live in that nobody can afford, so that you can be in a neighborhood that is filled with empty stores. All right, let's go past 23rd Street, see what we got here. Okay, over here we have a corner store that looks like it's boarded up entirely. I'll be honest, this is some of the best graffiti I've ever seen. They just, that's a quality Snoopy right there, the rendition of the Snoopy, but he looks a little bit more dark and depressed than a typical Snoopy. I like it. This is really cool graffiti. This is this looks really... But at the same time, corner stores are typically, you know, the more sought after places. They cost more money because it's a more desirable place to do business out of. And this one just looks... Bro. Wow. Wow. That looks like a prison cell. That, look, that looks the code right there. Yeah, this, this just kind of looks like it has most certainly seen better days. Well, all right, let's keep going. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. It looks like there's a little restaurant over here for lease. It's this one, and also there's one right next to it over there. And this, they actually have seating out here, so this is crazy. I think this may be one of those things where the tenant is paying partial rent. They know they can't pay the whole thing. And they're happy to leave once the bill once the building finds a new tenant, but they're still there for the moment. Or it could just be expanded seating for the place next door that hasn't closed yet. But that seems to be closed as well. This is a shoe repair place. It says repair a retail space for lease. Admittedly, I can understand how a place that's doing shoe repair in 2021 might not exactly be raking in the money. Uh, but and then right over here, you have a foot and back rub place where I'm confident that the only thing that they're rubbing is your foot and your back. And uh, that is also for lease. You have a sign for the, over here for the lady that says Cuomo's a harasser. Uh, what do we got? We're gonna go to the next block and see what's up there. Also you have, I don't know if that counts as a closed business. It doesn't have a sign anymore. So there's no sign over there. And it looks like they papered up the windows, which is New York City for leave me alone. I don't have a permit for whatever I'm doing inside there. So that I, I'm not sure if I would count that as an empty business, but yeah, you have a good amount of empty places in this block. It's about 50-50 open, 50-50 closed. Or 50 open, 50 closed, I should say. And let's just keep walking. I'm just going down 7th Avenue. I'm not even going through every block. Oh, check it out, another corner store. So again, what I said before, Corner stores tend to be the most expensive real estate. It costs way more money. So for instance, on my old block, my store started at 3,500 and a space that was about, you know, 15, 20% bigger was $15,000 just because it was the corner space. The corner space is typically the desired real estate because you have more visibility and you have all the walk-in traffic from here and the walk-in traffic from here and the people that are coming up the block will see you first. And this is the second one so far second or the third one where it is empty and Winnick is typically you know, typically expensive and when you take a look inside this actually looks pretty nice this doesn't look bad which means they probably want thirty or forty thousand dollars which is probably why it is empty and let's go on to the next block and see what we got there all right over here we got another place for lease this used to be a pizzeria with free delivery this is from Lee and Associates. You can take a look on the inside and see what it looks like. Again, we've, we've only traveled half a block at this point. You usually only have to go half a block to see a bunch of places that are completely vacant here in New York City. You can see the ceiling has seen better days. Probably just to replace a couple of those tiles. Uh, the wall on the left looks a little weird. Floor looks like it's seen better days. But, you know, it's what you expect for an old pizzeria. And it is gone. I actually used to pass this one on my way home. And so it's kind of sad to see that gone. And we'll keep it moving, see what else we see as we walk down the block. 
All right, this is not a closed business. This is just something, it kind of is a metaphor for most of New York City. So this is one of those new buildings with the ceiling of floor glass. I typically call these fishbowls because the apartment is very, very tiny like a fishbowl, but it's also completely transparent like a fishbowl. The one thing it doesn't share in common with a fishbowl is that they're not affordable. Typically those tend to start at $4,000 in Brooklyn, start at five or 6,000 in Manhattan, be insanely expensive and be literally right across the street from where people are sleeping on the sidewalk because they can't afford to live anywhere while those places go vacant, which is what I just passed over here. I'm not going to put that on camera because that's kind of embarrassing. But yeah, one sec. Excuse me, man. Here's 20 bucks. Here, 20 bucks. For you. you. Have a good day, man. Right, have a good day. Yeah, that, that's just, this is typical fucking New York City. So you have all of these apartments that, no, that are often empty and vacant. And then you have people literally sleeping on the side of the street. They don't want to put them on camera because they feel kind of bad. I wouldn't want to be on camera if I was fucking sleeping on the street. Uh, and then there's somebody right outside, like literally sleeping on the street. It, it's just a, it, it's a, it's a complete and utter fucking waste of, uh, of resources and space and everything. And across the street over here, you have uh, another retail space for lease and another thing for lease. So when you're paying to six to six thousand or whatever the fuck to live in this shitty fishbowl, right across the street over here. You, what, what you're paying to enjoy is just more urban decay. So you have over there, what looks like it used to be a bakery that is now for lease. And then you have that over there. It says for lease divisions considered. Typically divisions considered means that they will consider instead of charging you $80,000 for a 2,000 square feet, they may be kind enough to give you 1,000 square feet for 45,000. That tends to be my experience with all of that. And when you go right across the street over here, to where I'm walking. This, I don't know if this is open or not. It, it doesn't have a for lease sign, but it looks shitty enough that it's hard to, yeah, never mind. It says we've moved. So it's very likely that, yeah, this is closed. So visionary optics, the sign is falling apart. It looks like shit. And this is closed. And you also have some construction going on there. That may not be closed, but it looks like there may be some sort of demolition going on in there. Not my business, but the door is open. So fuck it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of just, looks like they're just throwing away a bunch of stuff that for a place that's closing. Uh, this is one of the nicest outdoor diner things I've ever seen. All right, let's keep going. I don't even know where to start here. Like, where do you even begin? What is this? Is this for lease? Did a bomb go off here? Was this once for lease, but it just got plastered over with so much graffiti you can't even see it? If I wasn't holding stuff, I'd try to get a look inside by climbing up here and putting my phone to the window. I probably could do that if I didn't have the microphone on it. It's kind of tempting, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting old. I'll probably fall and break my freaking neck. The building, look at this, look at this. What the, like, it, the building itself looks like it's falling apart. Or like, they put some sort of fake wall up in front of the actual wall of the building. The purpose of that, I have no idea. This whole thing just looks ridiculous. Rid okay, look, we got a stop work order here from, this is typically from the Department of Buildings. So the reason that you're supposed to put up the brown paper is so that you avoid getting a stop work order because if they can't see you doing work then you're not doing work then there's nothing to stop right but it looks like they must have screwed something up like that you got a bunch of graffiti here it says fuck the police up there you have whatever the hell that thing is uh, who the hell knows what they were trying to do over here maybe we can get a look inside here but it looks like a complete and utter wasteland now and it's hard to tell what the intention was here who wanted to move in here and that complete and utter shithole is right next to this gorgeous robin museum of art that looks like they probably paid an architect two you know two hundred thousand dollars just to go over the basic design of the space to put all of this together you have nice windows uh fancy building text all over it and this super expensive place is right next to that complete and utter uh, degraded pile of garbage over here and one thing that's interesting is that we're only, at this point, about nine blocks away from my store. So I'm, I'm barely into my walk home at this point. Hey, right across the street over there, it says retail space for lease. As I said, the corner stores tend to be the ones that have the most value. That are the, These are the ones that are supposed to be the ones that everybody wants because you have more foot traffic, typically more space and more people will see it. And this one is for lease. I think just about every corner store for the past seven blocks 
has been empty. And right across the street from that, you also have this. This was actually for lease before COVID because I remember they had some fancy stuff over here and people were asking if I wanted any of what was in this place for my store when they were getting rid of some fancy furniture. So this had nothing to do with COVID. They were out, out of business before COVID was a thing. And yeah, so at least, like it mirrors itself. So over there you have one empty place. Over there you have an empty place. Then there was the other corner place I just showed you that was empty. And that corner place over there that's empty. So it's kind of symmetrical. It's like on every one of the corners of the block you have empty, but then you also have empty places on the middle of the blocks themselves as well. All right, I was gonna hit the stop recording button and then start recording once I saw another empty place, but I already saw an empty place. Oh my God, that is the most adorable little dog I've ever seen. What a cute little Pomeranian. I, mean, I feel bad that you missed that. But I was afraid if I moved the camera over there that the woman with the dog, who was kind of dressed like a thirst trap, would think that I was trying to record her, but I wasn't. So I avoided that. But that is another restaurant for lease. This block looks like it only has one empty place, which is probably a record so far. I am assuming that these places that are closed are not closed for business. They're just closed because it's around seven o'clock on a Sunday. But yeah, this would be the record so far. I'm walking down a block and only one business is closed, which is, you know, a surprise. All right, well, you're gonna hit stop and I will start again next time I see a dead business. Okay, I don't know if this place is open or closed or not, but this was, I remember my friend Rudy, who I got out of touch with, worked here as a manager. And he was one of the best managers in the restaurant business. He was one of those people that really cared about his customers. He really cared about the people that worked for him. He busted his ass. He'd stay there until one or two in the morning to make sure everything was right for everybody. And it's just, uh, I really, I really hope the best for him. And if Rudy, if you're out there and you're watching this, I hope you're gonna, hope you're doing well for yourself, man. Because that place is usually not closed even on the holiday. Uh, this over here, I don't know what this is. It's covered in brown paper, which leads me to believe that some sort of department, uh, avoiding department of buildings. And let's see, can you, can we see through there to see what this was? But no, I can't see through there much. What do we got over here? And it looks like this used to be a restaurant or something, or probably used to be before de Blasio and Cuomo came along, and well, they made sure that most of those don't exist anymore. So we're gonna move on to the next block and see what we see there. All right, another block, another dead business. Actually, three dead businesses. So I don't know what this used to be. You guys can maybe guess. Looks like maybe it was a jewelry store or an eyeglass shop of some sort. Uh, so you got this for lease. On uh, the next block, and on next block, next door, you have this release. This looks like it is a, I don't know, this honestly just looks like a bathroom. I have no idea what I would do with the space that's that tiny. And then right next to it, you have another one, and they got their paper up. Retail space for lease over here. This looks like it used to be a drugstore or something. Let's see. Yeah, this looks like it used to be like a Dwayne Reed or Raw Greens or something like that. Here, never mind. Here we go. Pharmacy. So this used to be a pharmacy. And as you can see, that is now closed as well. Um, and I remember showing in a video like a year ago, a lot of the Dwayne Reeds and the pharmacies in the area uh, got their windows broken into. And it looks like some of them responded by closing. Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. So we're going to move on to the next block and take a look at what's going on there. All right, over there, it looks like we have a place called Paella Papa's Lunch Brunch Dinner. It has paper all over the windows over there. I know I'm kind of getting lazy by not walking over there and using smartphone zoom, but I'm kind of tired. And as you can see, it is just covered and plastered over there. We're going to move on to the next block and see what we find there. Okay, right over there, we have right across the street on the next block, fully papered over. And that actually looks like they have some work permits up there. Uh, they covered everything up over there anyway and that most of that building actually just kind of seems to be papered up we're going to move on to the next place and see what we see this one's actually kind of funny this is one of those corner store spaces again it says store for rent this is spanish french italian classes and it looks like someone actually just wrote with a sharpie online via zoom i don't know if it was the owner of the place that did that or if that was just a shit poster walking by that just wrote online via zoom on top of everything but this is for rent it has been for a while. And when you go across the street, you can also see another completely closed place right across from it for symmetry. 
and that is covered in paper and closed. So with that, we will move on to the next block and see what we find. All right, just cross the street and we have this over here. It's a store for rent. Let's walk up and you can see this place is really like half the size of my living room. And this is supposed to be a store. I probably want 15K for that, knowing that it's on First Avenue. They'll say, it's on the avenue. It's on the avenue, it's not on a street. Don't you wanna be on the avenue? This is the place that had bubbles outside of it a while back for the outdoor dining. It's kind of sad that the, out, the, the bubbles didn't save them. I, uh, you have restaurant for lease here, right next to it. And with that, we will make our way to the next block and see what we find there. I'm also almost out of battery. I didn't charge my phone all the way and I have about five more miles to walk. I really didn't think I was gonna see this many empty spaces, so I might have to cut this short before I even get to First Street. So, maybe prepared for this to end soon. Okay, next block, and we already have another retail space for lease. This one is gigantic, which is how you know it's gonna stay empty for a long time because the only type of place that would rent this is like a Whole Foods or a Walgreens and they already have enough of Whole Foods in this area and the Walgreens before they're closed because uh, they got messed with last year. Over there, there's the Riviera Cafe. I went over that in a video already. They were looking at something about $40,000 a month for that fairly not $40,000 a month worth of space. So that's been empty for a while and that's gonna be empty for a long time because they seemingly have no interest in reasonable pricing. So we're gonna walk over to the next block and see what we find. Getting close to the end with battery and I would like to be able to listen to an audio book on the rest of my way home. So we will be cutting it short soon, but there is so much more to go through here. I don't know what to even call this. Let's see what we got inside here. Yeah, that, that looks great. So another messed up and destroyed place. And next to it, it says for sale. So I think that they're selling this entire building. So they're looking to make somebody else the bag holder here. It's not a rental. They're looking to just sell this whole thing. I'm not sure if that building that that store in is attached to this building that this store is in or not. But this whole section, it looks like one quarter of this block is closed. Because on the other side, it looks like all the businesses are open. But on this side, uh, just about half of the block is closed. With that, we move on to the next block. It's anyone's guess what this was. Here we go, thegrandsichuan.com. Notice a public hearing. What is inside here? Yeah, it looks pretty dead to me. Looks pretty dead to me. All right, move on and check out the next place in a few. Let's see. Looks like maybe this used to be a restaurant or something. Okay, we're on the next block over here. And this is something for lease. Maybe it used to be a small restaurant or something like that. It looks next, like it's next to a kickboxing place. We walk up to it and yeah, it kind of looks like it used to be a small restaurant. And right next to it, actually, never mind, I said it was next to a kickboxing place. It used to be next to a kickboxing place because the kickboxing place is also for lease. But wait, there's more. Because next to it, this space is available too. Looks like somebody left their drink and their garbage out there. Typical New York. And yeah, it just looks like it is some abandoned thing inside. Some fairly old construction back there. And with that, we will move on to the next block and see what else is in store. All right, across the street over there, bunch of brown paper over and a little sign that says we're moving. Yes, I can actually read that. That says we're moving, but you can't see that right now because that's just one, one or three pixels with an S10E using s shitty smartphone zoom. And this is also another place for rent. It says fully vented. This has been open for about a year now, because I remember seeing this last year when spring was coming around. You can see it looks like maybe it was made to be a little deli or something. Maybe a Chinese restaurant. And now it is closed. Like much of the rest of the city. We'll move on to the next block and see what we find. 
What do you all think of what you see so far? What do you all think? I'm curious to hear what you think in the comments down below. This place across the street actually looks like it's fairly decently taken care of. It says it's for lease. You can see that they got some construction stuff in there, a bunch of wood, and it looks like they are working on it. They have some decent lighting in there, and it's a decent building, but it is empty. It actually took walking a block and a half this time to find a place that was for rent, but that's because we're walking by a place that's pretty much just used for storage, so there's not really a lot going on on this particular block. I'm gonna walk to the next block and see what we see. I think that's just kind of creepy while we're here is this is an icon parking over here and usually when I come by it's filled with cars and now there is one car parked in this entire icon parking lot now most of you who are aware of parking in New York City it's virtually impossible and even when you do find places that are like six or seven hundred dollars a month to park like this one over here 24 hours of parking is sixty five dollars half an hour of parking as you can see is sixteen dollars and five cents kind of crazy and it is completely empty. So usually the demand is so high that people are actually willing to pay those prices. And here, there's one car. All right, this over here doesn't say it's for lease. It's had some random looking construction stuff in it for almost two years now. Because I've been riding past here to go home for about two years and every day it looks like this. This is again one of those fancy schmancy, fishbowlish, ceiling to floor, window glass where the entire wall is a window supposed to make it fancy, sexier, more desirable. The problem with it is that these areas tend to be so expensive that nobody can actually afford to rent it, so it just kind of stays vacant until it gets eaten up by a Chase Bank, which as you could see from the beginning of the video, even Chase Bank is actually liquidating some of their holdings and spaces in New York. I think from the days when they merged with uh, Washington Mutual or one of the other banks, they, so they're closing some of their duplicate locations because some of them are only a few blocks apart. But yeah, this is... This is another place that like two years later, it looks like there's been virtually no progress on any sort of construction inside the place whatsoever. And it probably won't be used for anything for another decade if I know New York City. Next block over, this is the next block over and we got yet another place for lease over here. It says ground floor, office or retail for lease. It's every block. But just next time you hear some realtors say, this place is gonna go fast. You have to put an offer in now. You don't understand the demand is so high that you have to pay 100 or 65 or 70 bucks a square foot for that space. Because if you don't, somebody else will take it. I think it's really important to understand that this is uh, fundamentally not true. That is not the case. That is not the reality that we live in. And if you walk up just and down any block in New York City, virtually any block in New York City, you will see exactly what it is that I'm showing you here. This is not doctored. This is not Google image searched. This is not other people's video I'm showing you, because let's face it, if I was showing you virtually anybody else's video, the quality wouldn't be this bad. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the reality. So if you're looking for a space in the city, just understand, when you see the realtor and they say 100 bucks a square foot, no, there's no negotiating. Fine, walk away and uh, let them enjoy their empty space that they're paying property tax on from now until the end of time. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. My battery is just about to die and I want to be able to enjoy my audiobook on the way home. So I'm really, all I did today was 7th Avenue from 27th Street to Canal Street. I did not go through any of the side streets. I did not go through the east of the West Village. I did not go through Midtown Manhattan. I did not go to the Lower East Side. But if you want to see more videos like this of places like this, do let me know and what you'd like to see in the comments below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.